What's up? My name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how you can trade cryptocurrency on the Binance exchange. Now this is not a video where I show you strategies on how you can make the most profit trading cryptocurrencies. I simply want to show you how you can use the trading interface on the Binance cryptocurrency exchange. So we're going to go over what everything means and I'm also going to show you how you can put in a market order and also a limit order and basically put in trades on this platform. So let's head over to my computer and get started. All right, so let's now look at how we can actually trade cryptocurrency here on the Binance exchange. So the first way we can trade we have already seen, which is the convert feature here under the trade button. And this is basically where you can just convert cryptocurrencies that you have in your account into other cryptocurrencies at the current market price. So very simple. Now the next way is to use either the the classic trading interface or the advanced trading interface. Both of them are pretty similar, but the advanced one is basically the newer one. And don't really worry because it says advanced. It's actually simpler in my opinion than the classic interface. You can check them out for yourself, but I would actually recommend to use the advanced trading interface. Then you also have margin, which is basically trading with leverage, which is something I wouldn't recommend, especially for beginners. And then the P2P is also something I won't be covering in this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is go into the advanced trading screen right here. And I do wanna say that this is not like a trading tutorial that uh, should teach you some, str some strategies. This is just so you understand um, what everything means here and basically how you can carry out a trade on Binance. So the first thing that we see here is this candlestick chart right here. Then we have the order book right there. And then on the right side is basically where we can place some trades. So the first thing we want to do here is actually set a currency pair that we want to trade here on this exchange. So on the top left here, you can see that it's currently set to BTC USDT, which means Bitcoin versus US dollar tether. US dollar tether is just a stable coin that is packed to the US dollar. So it will just follow the price of US dollars. Now we could also change that to let's say Ethereum. So we could, we could trade Ethereum versus Bitcoin. Um, and if you are asking yourself what this 10X means next to the currency pair, it just means that you could trade this currency pair um, with margin trading, so with leverage, which is something I wouldn't recommend, especially for beginners. But let's actually change this back to BTC versus US dollar tether, um, just so we can see the Bitcoin price in US dollars. Um, here on the right side of the currency pair, you can always see the, the price that is currently trading at. Then you can see the 24 hour change. So in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has lost 1.5% in value versus the US dollar, obviously. Then you can see the 24 hour high and low price. So this was the highest price that Bitcoin was trading at. And this was the lowest price in the last 24 hours. So you can see basically the range what Bitcoin has been trading at. Then you can also see the volume and uh, of Bitcoin and also of US dollar tether. Then here in the middle, you can see the so-called candlestick chart, which gives you an idea about the price moves of Bitcoin in a certain time frame. So currently it's set to one day here on the top, and uh, which basically means that one candlestick here, these are so-called candlesticks, uh, one candlestick represents one day. So in this specific day, Bitcoin has risen from around about um, 39,000 to 46,000. So you could also change this to one hour and then you're going to see the one hour candle chart. So this one candle will rep represent one hour. And the place where the candle begins here is the play is the price of the of the currency or the price of Bitcoin when the hour started. And then here on the top is the price when the hour ended. And then you can also see like these smaller lines right here and here on the bottom as well, which basically tells you the price range that Bitcoin was trading at um, in this specific hour. So again, the bar starts where the price has started in this hour. This is where the price ended. And then this entire range here is where Bitcoin was trading at in this specific hour. And then here on the bottom, you can also see the trading volume. So how much trading was actually going on in that specific hour. And then here on the right side of the candlestick chart, you can see the order book. So here on the top, you can see the red prices, which are the prices people are currently willing to sell Bitcoin at. 
And here in the bottom, you can see the green prices, which are the ones that the prices that people are willing to buy Bitcoin at. Now, by definition, these prices on the top are always higher than the prices on the bottom, because when these prices um, match here, then the transaction will go through and the trade will actually carry out. And here in the bottom of the order book, you can see all the trades that has that have been recently been uh, carried out. So you can see the, the volume of so how many Bitcoin have been traded at what specific price. So depending on uh, this order book right here, the prices will go up and down. And then here on the right side is where we can put in our orders. So there's the limit order and the market order. I'm quickly going to go over the market order and then also over the limit order. So the market order is just when you want to buy, let's say, Bitcoin as fast as possible and you're willing to buy it at the current market price, which is the best price that is currently available here in this order book. So what we can do is just set market order right here and then type in the amount we want to buy for. So when we when we um, put this to total, we can type in, let's say, 100 US dollar tether or when you want to type in the amount of Bitcoin you want to buy, you can also change this to amount and then type in the amount of Bitcoin that you want to buy. But let's actually go to total right here and type in a hundred US dollar tether. And now I can just click on buy Bitcoin and then the order should immediately go through because it will just take the best price that is currently available right here. And then we can also go to the bottom left here and click on order history. And then we can see all the details about this specific transaction that we have just carried out. So you can see this was the price that I have bought Bitcoin at. It was a market order and this was the amount of Bitcoin that I have bought. Now let's also look at how to do a limit order. So what we have to do here is change this from market to limit. And now I can actually type in the price that I'm willing to buy Bitcoin for. So let's say I'm not willing to buy for the price that I see here in the order book, but I'm willing to pay, let's say, 58,000 US dollars for one Bitcoin. And uh, what that will do is that when Bitcoin falls to this price, then the transaction will actually go through and I will pay um, 58,000 per one Bitcoin. Now I can also type in the amount I want to buy for. So let's say 0.0002. And now when I click buy BTC, it will actually put my limit order into the buy order book right here. But because I have set the price to 58,000, it's far down and you can re can't really see it. But here on the bottom, you can see I have an open order. So this will this is my limit order. This is the order that I've just set for 58,000 US dollars. And it will not fill unless the price actually falls to this specific price. So if you want to buy as fast as possible, then I would recommend to simply do a market order. But if you want to make sure to actually get the price that you want to buy for, then you want, would want to do a limit order. Now, this was actually a segment of my complete Binance tutorial that is also available here on YouTube. So if you want to learn more about how to use Binance, I'm going to leave a link to that tutorial down below in the description. Also, if you found this video helpful, leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below as well if you have any questions or any comments whatsoever. If you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.